back for part two of this exam. This is question 2D. Plotting the missing bars, you need to find for D and E and it's the amount of fruit and vegetables. So you're looking at the bottom two rows, D and E, and obviously the amount of fruit and vegetables is the second column. 240 for D on your graph, you're going along to country D. The dark grey is normally on the right hand side, so we'll plot to the right. And then you just need to, with your ruler, follow along 220, draw a line, two lines straight down give you that. Same thing for country E, we're going for 244 this time. So country E up to 240 and remember that if there's five small boxes between 220 and 260 then each small box must be 0 0.4 because that would be 24, uh, not 0 0.4, just 4, sorry 240, 244, 248, 250, 2, 256 and 260 so 244 is one small box higher than 240 so that should be your final answer. Another factor that reduces death from CHD would be less saturated fats and to stop smoking. You can also say a less fatty diet or um, a lower cholesterol diet to exercise more or lose weight or any way of reducing your weight because obesity is also a risk factor. 2F state how many times more likely people are to die from coronary heart disease in B than E. So for this one you need to read off the values of deaths for B and E. For B it's the white bar which goes up to halfway between 240 and 260 so 250 for the white bar for E it goes up to just one box above 120 which is 124 because we know that each small box is 4 250 is about 2 times 124 just over two times but two times is fine so the answer for this is two two times more likely next question is about obesity other than heart disease name two conditions which are linked to obesity you could say type 2 diabetes for number one and a stroke for number two other correct answers that you could have said would be depression, arthritis, high blood pressure, or breathing difficulties. But the most obvious two would be type 2 diabetes and stroke. So add those in. We've got a graph here. The first thing we always do is to look at the X and Y axes to make sure we know what this graph is showing. As we go from left to right on the X axes, we're going from 0 to 95 years old. The dark grey is for females and the light grey is for males. And on the, as you go higher up, there is more deaths from heart disease every year. give two differences between the patterns for men and women. Lots of things you could write here. First thing you could write is that less women 
die per year between the ages of up to the ages sorry of 75 to 7 to 80 so all the way up until this bar here the male statistic is always higher than the female the number of deaths per year for males all the way up to age 80 is higher for men the second thing you could say is after age 80 it's then higher for women so the gr dark grey is higher than the light grey after age 80 there's a higher number of deaths for women other answers which were correct would be that the men's peaks higher the men's peaks at an earlier age men's death starts earlier than women or more men altogether die from heart disease because altogether there's more light grey bars than dark grey that would be your answers for 